everybody welcome back to Gretchen's Animals today I'm going to be doing a video about um, making an environment for a hamster enriching and exciting for them I'm going to be doing this on Belle's cage I'll do a little bit for Bruno but I'm going to clean his cage I'm cleaning Belle's too so I'll just do a little time lapse of that and then I'll explain how to make with the fresh bedding how to make an environment enriching for your hamsters Hi, Lola. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys soon. Say bye, Bruno. short little break I finished cleaning me out and I don't know if you guys saw in the because it's actually it's a quick um video but I use vinegar to clean up his cage because he has like these pee spots and then he's like better here to make sure they don't smell bad because I don't use um like cleaning supplies and stuff like that in case you guys are wondering he's probably like where's my stuff so I'm just gonna put in I use aspen for him and I use KT clean Tozy for her because she doesn't need to use as much bedding or she needs more bedding. So, see you guys after I am done with his and then I will start with hers. But I don't know if I'm gonna do a whole big um video, video. I'm not sure yet. Bye. cage is done and for enrichment for a hamster he is two years old already so he's in his middle ages he doesn't need as much um, enrichment as and maybe another hamster with more energy all he basically does is sleeps and runs on his wheel he doesn't really play with toys but I will give him some tubes um, his most his most exciting thing to do is chew on whimsies um, these are like 50 cents at PetSmart and Petco. I highly recommend. And yeah, so here is his cage setup. I'm just gonna add some toilet paper in for nesting material so he can make a big bed. He normally moves everything around, which I don't even know how he does that, but normally he just moves everything to a new spot anyways. But yeah, so this is Bruna's cage and now I'm gonna do Belle's. People wonder why I never um, clean her cage a lot, and this is the reason. She gets insanely stressed out when there's no bedding, um, or it's not like what her home normally is. So I'm just gonna go ahead. First thing you're gonna want to do to make your hamster's home very enriching is obviously a lot of bedding. I like to burrow and make tunnels, so I'm gonna do that real quick before she literally goes crazy. Size of the like this size, clean and cozy. And if it's not enough, then I'll just use some aspen with it. But I think it should be. The bedding is in her cage. I don't know if you can see. But it is a lot of bedding. Um, but she needs it. She, look at her. She is just huge for such a tiny little thing. <laughs> oh, she's still freaking out. Okay, so now that we have the bedding in, um, I'm going to add in the extra level today. So yeah, I'm just going to add that in. I also added some stuff under it. I did a tunnel into a little Heidi down there. I think she's like freaking she's like, oh my god, what is going on here? Bridge up to her platform. Just added in her puzzle playground. She's still exploring. So I just finished mostly. I'm still gonna add a little bit more. But you're gonna want to make your habitat really enriching. You're gonna want to have lots of chews for them. You're gonna want to have stuff that they can climb on, stuff that they can crawl through, cool hideaways, and this is her favorite because she can like go through two different holes. She's under here right now. Oh, she's over there now. Oh, she's right here. See, she's like climbing around, exploring, having lots of fun. I don't think she's even realized that her favorite toy is there yet. But yeah, that you want stuff that they can like climb through. See, how'd she get up there? We don't know. She loves that sort of stuff, stuff that they can feel safe in as well. And then obviously a wheel 
And then levels are fun for them if your hamster isn't an escape artist. So if you want to build like a le level out of popsicle sticks, that's really cool for them. They love that. Also, um, as I already said with Bruno, whimsies are actually like really good for enriching stuff because they get to gnaw on them and they're like hard. So it takes them a while, but it's also really healthy because um, they can like improve their teeth like sturdy like you know what I mean like for the cheese health so yeah and also finally what I'm gonna do is I have some salad hamster salad but I'm gonna just I always spread it around their cages just to um, give them something to look for and something to be excited about so yeah I'm just gonna do that and thank you guys for watching I hope you learned a little bit about how to make it fun for them and stuff like that um, yeah, so, she's happy to, in her little, oh, she's figured it out, she found out her toy. <laughs> Alright, bye guys.